So the other day, someone asked me this question where they were like, Pri, where did your interest in making videos on YouTube come from? I don't remember how I answered that question when I was asked, but later that day, I remember reflecting back on this question and thinking to myself, well, when I was first experiencing incontinence in 2017, I honestly had no one to go to. You go to a doctor, they give you medications. You go to a family member, they tell you everything will be okay. And then the last resort, you go to someone who you're meant to be close with, then all they do is tell you it's all in your head and start gaslighting you into believing that the reason why you have a disease is because of you and you must have done something wrong. So at that point, who do you go to for help without knowing how to ask? So my experience with incontinence over the years made me want to help more people just like me. You know, the incontinent. So when I say we're in this together, I really do mean it. And I just hope that this video can honestly put a smile on that beautiful face. <laughs> hey guys, so in this video, I really wanted to be trying on some outfits while wearing an adult diaper. And the adult diaper I do wear in this video is the In Control Elite Hybrids. I really do hope that this video can help reassure you that you can still wear cute and nice looking things, even while having incontinence and even while wearing an adult diaper. Um, and I just hope that some of the tips and things I talk about in this video can help some of you guys out with incontinence. So before I begin this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And for now, I hope you guys enjoy this video. The hardest part about incontinence wasn't necessarily having to wear adult diapers, but just learning to not give a damn of what society thought about me so, I've come to realize that loving what I wear while disregarding the noise was what it was going to take to keep that smile on my face. And then comes the undergarment. I tried on a bodysuit because this bodysuit is perfect for a time like winter when you not only want to keep warm, but also don't want your diaper riding above your bum while you're wearing things like pants. And then when you're also wearing the high-waisted baggier bottoms, it's just a lot easier being discreet with wearing something like an adult diaper. I absolutely love overalls, but honestly, if you're not going to be wearing a diaper, don't even bother because just taking off that overall is going to take you forever <laughs> to take off just to use a goddamn toilet. Number one, why must we be restricting the way we eat just because we don't want our bladder and bowel movements to come out at inappropriate times? Why must the incontinent restrict the amount that we drink right before bed? You know, earlier this year, I was experiencing urinary retention because with multiple sclerosis, I don't just have incontinence, I also have urinary retention. So it's like I have one problem and then I also experience a complete opposite problem to that one problem. So it's like my brain just doesn't really work properly. I have a hard time sending signals from my brain to the rest of my body and if I could tell you how frustrating it is, but it was literally the catheter that I had to use this year where I realized that using a diaper wasn't as bad as how people make it seem it is. Like, think about it. When you wear an adult diaper, you let all the toxins out, right? But when you experience urinary retention, well, you just end up with a catheter up your urethra and a UTI that follows shortly after, all while being on your period. Like, when I first started doing the adult diaper try-ons, people told me, Pri, you have to be very careful because you're going to get a UTI. Well, the only UTI I ever got was from the goddamn catheter, not the diaper. Yet, the stigma is still behind the adult diapers. Like... I don't understand. It just stop restricting the amount that you eat, the amount that you drink, because you don't want it to come out at the wrong time. Because there's something called adult diapers to back you up. Number two, don't put on any diaper. No, put on a premium quality diaper. Because when I'm talking about diapers, you can put on anything. You could put it down from like a medical diaper that's going to end up being like a tranquility that's like has red inside just to remind you that you're not on your period, but it's just the inside of the diaper that's red. Um, <laughs> I'm not getting over that. I just put this one down before I start talking about clothing. 
specifically because if you're not wearing a premium quality diaper, you're going to be ruining all your clothes because no matter how many times we try to convince ourselves that we're not going to like ruin our clothes, well, it doesn't really work in our favor now, does it? So again, premium quality diapers is where it's at. Don't wear light colored clothing, wear dark colored clothing if you have incontinence. Well, you know what, let me make your life easier and just tell you to put on an adult diaper and now you can wear both light and dark. Now, with being strategic, I've kind of listed down four points under this that I feel like could help some of you guys who may not know how to be strategic with your clothing um, and having incontinence. So, so let me just go over my thumbnail and I'm going to kind of like run down through what went through my head when I tried on all of these things. So with the first one I've listed down was with the tutu, right? Why I love the tutus is because it's flowy, it's bigger. I could wear an adult diaper and no one would ever see it, right? I know on my try-ons I don't wear short tights under my tutus, but when I go out I do wear the short tights on top. Second one I had down was the bodysuit. So the bodysuit is one that I wear sometimes, but mostly in winter when it gets colder as I mentioned, right? When you're trying to keep warm under your other clothes that you have on top. Um, but another alternative for the bodysuit that I always resort to is the short tights. Because the short tights are better for me, especially because whenever I do decide to wear uh, pants, they're always high-waisted for me. It's never low-waisted or anything. I love high-waisted bottoms. Um, so that's why I don't feel that the bodysuit is necessary at that point. And even with the bodysuit too, right? In summer, it's going to get really hot. So at that point, you might as well just wear the short tights on top of your diaper. Just like you can wear like a skirt or a dress or shorts underneath or on top, sorry. And no one will see your diaper because it's covered, right? And the third one I had down were the pants. Um, I recommend wearing baggy pants. Don't wear pants that are super tight. Uh, people ask me if I wear jeans. I don't wear jeans, uh, but it's not because I have incontinence, I just have never been into jeans. Um, and it worked out in my favor because it's not like I had to cut out another item of clothing out of the picture for myself. But um, <laughs> the fourth one I had was the overalls. I love the overalls because it goes up like this and even on the other side too. So it covers the diaper, even if the diaper was peeking out, you wouldn't be able to see it at all. How are you to have confidence when you don't even love what you wear? Like this goes for both the um, adult diaper as well as the outfit that you choose to pair with it, right? Where it's like I do find that oftentimes people kind of become closed minded and not understanding how to be strategic with wearing adult diapers and just assuming that you can't wear nice looking things because it's not true. You guys can wear nice looking things. You just have to be strategic about it. And you know what? If you don't know how to be strategic, message me on Instagram because we can get creative together. Um, <laughs> yeah, I honestly meant it when I said that. Um, <laughs> I think I had the most hardest time with this. Well, when I was at university, I loved wearing tights. But going into my second year, my incontinence was so bad, I couldn't wear tights anymore. I needed to be wearing looser bottoms. Um, and that was hard for me because I'm like, how am I just not allowed to wear tights anymore? Like, I love wearing tights to my three-hour lectures. Um, and I couldn't wear tights anymore. So if you have incontinence and you're experiencing it for the very first time right now and you're just wondering what you can possibly be wearing, honestly, if you're really stuck, message me on Instagram because honestly, we can get creative together. Um, <laughs> so that's pretty much it to my video. I honestly hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what outfits you guys like wearing with adult diapers because honestly, give me some ideas that I haven't thought about yet because I like trying new things and outfits because outfits are so cute. Um, <laughs> So go and subscribe because I'd really appreciate it. Um, my next video is actually going to be up on my birthday. Um, and I feel, I'm excited for that video too because I'm really excited to try on that outfit. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much it. Go and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Check out my blog. Um, and also check out the shorts I've started doing on YouTube because some of them are pulled from the videos. Um, but it'd be nice if you guys can go check out my shorts. I'll see you guys in my next video that will be up in a few days, which will be on Sunday. And yes, <laughs> bye guys. And I will be getting up a video on November 5th. Oh my gosh, I just went... <gasps> no! I... I just... I filed my nails down. I don't understand. Am I not to have nails?